Hello, good evening, and welcome back. This is Jace, and I'm here to show you a tutorial for a really cute design, which I think you're quite, um, which I'm sure you're interested in, because I am twirling it <laughs> in front of you. This is called the Callista bracelet. Callista, of course it reminds me of Callista Flockhart, of Adam McBeal, Callista Flockhart, okay. See how cute that is? I'm sure you guys are interested. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very cute. This is a creation by Keb5898, my wonderful friend. And this one I am really, really so happy with. I played around with um, the Neon Pack, limited edition Neon Pack, which you can see underneath, and the Silk Pack. So what I did was I placed the purple limited edition with the purple silk, the pink with the baby pink, the green, the neon green with the neon green, and the, you know, so it kind of made the, the colors, it, it, they, they made each other, they, they complemented each other and made each other look good. So I am excited to teach you this, and I will actually teach you the basic Calista, which is this, and surprise, Keb, I am going to border <laughs> the bracelet just so that. We can see how different the look is going to be. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to decide which colors you want in the middle and which colors you want as the curls. Okay, I would like to use for inside the um, this is the Persian gray and the Persian gold jelly, and then for my curls, I will use. Medieval red and medieval blue. I used those colors because I just want to make it a bit more masculine. Okay, so I can wear it because this is really candy. Candy, candy. Okay, so this is like it's probably gonna go to one of my nieces. Okay, so I also suggest that you have two hooks if you can. It would be best to have two hooks because it's much easier to do one of the steps. Um, using two hooks transferring, but you can definitely only use one. You just have to turn them around or not turn them, switch them over okay so let's get started the first thing that you need to do is to create your of course it's that way in the beginning um i'm oh, sorry no it's that way <laughs> so you need your cap band at the bottom and for me what i'm going to do is that inside it's going to be gold and in the middle it's going to be this persian gray so you will be creating your cap band first and for me it's this okay you can use actually no you know what let's do two because i like making my cap bands at the end strong so i'm going to use cap a band two actually so that when i attach my c clip it's strong okay it's there that's where i cut myself the other day okay <laughs> anyway so let's get started the first thing that you would do is to get to to place your two cap bands there which is here now and then the two colors that you will use so it's you will see that there's a black that goes all the way up there that is actually with this when you place it so you will decide which one goes where so for me the gold jelly will be going there so that's going to be inside and my gray will be the one oh no wait it's the other way around my gold jelly is the one that goes underneath the curls and this gray will be the one going up looking like a single chain so what you do is the gold jelly the one with the curls will be under and the gray the black the chain that goes up will be on top so that's how you place it on your hook see okay so now what you need to do is to place that cap band on there and close it just like that so your gray is inside and the gold is outside okay you will now start placing the curls the first that we will be doing will be the red so you place it on your hook you unloop this gold the first one the outside band and then you will reclaim that and unloop this like a knot so then loop like that and then you put it back okay you get another red hmm should we do it red blue red blue or red 
I mean like in one section because what you can do is you can do red and then blue red and then blue or this whole section is red and then, then blue so let's play around with it a bit I will make it blue <coughs> sorry and then you get your next color or your next curl place it on your hook and then undo these two <coughs> excuse me sorry my throat dried up and then you will reclaim this outside band, place it back on your hook, and then undo this other side of that band. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you close. Ah! Here is where your extra hook will come in handy. I will show you. So, but for those who don't have an extra hook, I will show you the hookless <laughs> version first so when you reach this part you will remove these two okay and then you see that gold right there you pick it up pick it up and then you close so you now have three bands again on that area now the goal is to get this band under these three all the way to the other end so you will cross these three bands over this single band. So here's what we're going to do. You cross one first because it's a bit tight depending on the bands that you're using. So you cross one first. You can push it out so that it's, a bit, it's just a bit tough when you're not using a second hook. And then you cross the second one. Okay, so you have two now. And then you cross that last one over there okay now that you've crossed all those three you will remove it from your hook that one band that you moved remove it from your hook and then remove all these three and loop it and then you close ah see what happened they're now there under. They are now underneath. So you will now do the other side. So you turn it, remove it, and then you go inside the other side. Then you repeat the steps again. Again. So we will go back to the red. And loop this first one. Put it back, loop over that red, loop that red over rather, and then you close. Okay, and then you get your blue, you unloop these two, reclaim the red. And then you unloop the blue, and then you close. Ah, oh, see? Now we will do the switch again. So, what you do is you remove these two first. Remember that you will always have to pick up that gold first. Okay, so you remove these two, and then you will pick up that gold or that band under there, put it, place it back on the hook, then you close. So once again, these three bands have to switch with this. So you can do it all at one time or one by one, it depends on you. But this is how you do it all together. So you just move over the three bands and you just push out that one band, hold it, remove it, and also the three. And then you return it, place it back. And you've got one section done. See? That's one section already. Ta ta! Oh wow, it looks nice in these colors. Yeah, I like it. I like how masculine that looks. Okay, so you will just re fix it later. Fix it a bit, because that gold's supposed to be under. And then you've got your red, and then your blue. There, see? 
That's how it's supposed to look. I wonder how this will look with the borders later. We shall see. I have a feeling it's going to be very nice. Ta-da! The grey doesn't really get so noticed, does it? <laughs> anyway, that's okay. So, we go back to step one. This is step one. You get your gold and your grey. So, the gold underneath is the one that goes around inside the curls. And this grey on top is this single chain. So, you place those two on your hook. And you unloop this. And then you close. Sorry, I was just untwisting. <laughs> Me and my OCNS. Okay, so there. Now, we will loop the red again and blue. So you get the first red. Or unless you get it ready. And then you unloop that. And then you reclaim it. And then you unloop the red. Oops. Unloop the red. And close. And then you get your blue. Unloop those two. Reclaim that red and loop the blue and then close. Oh. Okay, remember that crossing over that I taught you? Now, here's how it looks with two hooks. All you have to do is to just go in this first two. Okay. And if you can, already pick up that gold. See? And then go inside this one. And this is what you do. You catch it and twist it down and pull it out. Where did it go? <laughs> okay. Yeah. One second. That gold cannot be part of it. So that means the gold has to be let go. There you go. So you pull it under see now out there so now it's all ready sorry just trying to organize it and looped right there so you just have to fix the bands underneath that's the only thing with this these bands the medieval and the persians they're kind of sticky so you really have to fix it once you're done with your design so there it is Okay. I'll repeat it at the other side so you can see what's going on. Now we transfer it to another hook. Okay. And repeat the same steps. You get your medieval red and loop that gold. Reclaim it. Oops, sorry. Reclaim it. And then you unloop that medieval. And then you close it. And then you get the blue, your medieval blue. And loop. Oops, that band is a bit thick. Oh, anyway. Reclaim the red. Ouch, my arm is hurting. <laughs> I extended my hand so far because of this camera. Okay. And then you unloop the blue. And then you close it. Okay, so here we are again with our second hook. Get your second hook. Make it easier for yourself by just removing it. And once you remove it, you will just go under and catch that gold. Like that. And then you will get this gray. Remove it and now pull it under. Like that. There. Much better, huh? And you can put it back. Ta Genius. See? Oh, it looks nice. I'm liking it. This looks so good with the border. Okay. So, let's do it one more time. So we get our golden gray. Place it in our hook. 
and then loop these two. Okay, and then you close. And then you will get your red. Place it on your hook and loop that gold. Reclaim, fold, and then close. Now you get the blue and loop, reclaim the red, fold, and close. Ah. And then you get your second hook, go inside those two, remove and pick up, and then you get this gray and pull under the tree. And then you close. Ta da! And then we can go to the other side. Okay. Get your red. Oops, they're all stuck together. Monica's and Amanda and Monica's favorite. Beep. <laughs> and then you unloop this gold. Reclaim, fold, and close. And then you get the medieval blue, unloop the two, reclaim the red, and fold. And then close. Huh. My arm hurts. <laughs> hmm. It's because of I'm kind of having my arms extended in front of me just to be able to reach the angle of the camera. So now we go and get these two again. Pick up that gold. Oops, sorry. Pick up that gold. And then that gray and pull through the tree and then you close Ta -da! see it's very easy Whee! okay so I'm gonna finish this off cam and then I will show you how to make the borders. But just so you know, this is already the completed Callisto bracelet. It's already complete. And what I'm going to do next will be I just integrated borders, my skip knot borders. And it's a surprise for Kev because she's never seen this with borders. Okay, so I'll be back in a few seconds when I reach my uh, um, wrist size for this. Bye. Yay! I've completed my Callista and it looks very nice. Ah, I likey likey. See? Okay, so now comes the portion where I will introduce my skip knot borders again. So what we will do is we will actually start from the bottom right here. I don't know if I should get one of these cap bands to support it, but that's an idea. Hmm. Anyway, it's okay. It's not necessary. I think we can just pull one here and pull one of these cap bands on the sides. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is we are going to get into one of these cap bands underneath. You will see that you have four bands, so you get one of those. Okay. And then you go into the red, the first one. Okay. Then I will use my gray and I will slide all of those two. Oops, off focus. Sorry. <laughs> okay, 
And then I'm gonna repeat it because you might have not might not have seen it. Okay. So we go into the cap bands and you can see that there's four, so you will get one and use it to support the other one here. And then you place your border band just there. And then you reclaim the farthest and you unloop and then you close. Oh. Then you move into the next thread. Okay. And then this first one will be a bit loose, so you might just want to tug on it a bit. Okay. Later on we will arrange it. So there. So you skip the blue, you go into the next one. You get your next gray. Okay. Get your next gray and then you unloop these three bands again. Okay. Reclaim that very first one. And then you unloop again. And then you close. Looks nice. I am very interested with how this is going to look. Okay. So after that you go into the next red you know now that i think about it i think i might have to go through each because there's enough spaces no i think they're too close red 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 yeah okay let's do this again sorry because what i did was i skipped one i don't think we should skip any of these so let's just go into each of them okay so as we did earlier, hold on, let us repeat. Sorry, I just changed my mind on the spot. <laughs> okay, so once again, you get one of those cap bands in the first border. And then you get your border band in a loop too. If those already did the skip knot borders, you would notice. And then you pick up the farthest, unloop, and then close. Okay, and then you go into this next one here, this blue. Go in, get your next border band, and loop the three. Okay, pick up that farthest one, and loop, and then you close. And then you go into this next one, because it's ready, and then you get more border bands, and then you loop the three. Pick up the farthest, pick up the farthest band, unloop, and then you close. This will actually make it look so different, like completely different. I wonder how it's gonna look. Might look a bit complicated, but it's okay. So you're going to the next one, place more border bands. Sorry. Pick up that first one. Oops. There. Pick up the first one. Close. No, sorry. And loop and then close. Okay. And then you go into this next one. The red. Get your border band. And loop the three. I'm just untwisting, okay. And then you pick up the first, you unloop that, and then you close, okay. So we will be doing this all the way up, and we will see how it will look. But from the way it's looking right now, it's very interesting. Haha, -ha. okay. So I will finish this all the way up, and then I will show you how it looks after I finish it. Bye. Hello, so I'm at the end. And I'm already and um, picking up this last band. So what we will do is we get it, pick it up, and then we will get one last border band, and then pick up this last one. Oops, pick up this last one, and then unloop it there, and then we close it. Okay, so when you close it. What you need to do is to, hold on, let me see, yeah, wait, I forgot, you're supposed to, okay, yeah, close that, like that, it's so twisted, anyway, I'll just fix it later, 
Hmm. Did I miss one? No, I didn't. Okay. So you just get your last band and you just place it like that. And and twist it. Just place those two in here. Okay. Oh no, wait, I saw it already. No, 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 you don't need to place this, okay? So when you do your last, and this is it, this is it. So you get that, right? You place this band first. Okay, that's what you do, okay? So you pick up this one, you place this band first, okay? And then you unloop this, okay? Then... What you will do is lock this band right there, this one. That is what you use to lock. There, inside. Ta-da! See? I think I need to get the, get the bigger C-clip. <laughs> I, I got the small one. So, looks nice on one side, see? It kind of really changed it so much but if I looking at it right now I feel like I should use a different color so that the borders will really come out because the sil silver and the gold kind of mixing with each other something stronger maybe to separate them anyway we will do the other side now and as far as the other side is concerned we will do the same thing so remember one of those cap bands so you will still keep two here so you will get this one last here then get this other one here and then that's your border band and then pick that up pick that one band up and loop and then you close then you pick up the next one border band you pick it up and loop and then close so it's exactly the same thing okay nothing's changed just pick those up and loop the three I'm just untwisting here pick up that farthest one and loop and then close pick up the next one more border bands and loop pick up pick up <laughs> oops oops there you pick it up and loop and then close so we will go all the way up with this Okay, so I will continue doing this until I finish it and I'll show you the finished product after a few minutes. Bye! Hi guys, so here it is. I am at the last part of the border and we will now get the last band that we see out there. And we will place this and then we will Catch that first one and then unloop and then you close. Okay, sorry, I remember. No, we did not do it that way. It was you close this, and then you unloop, and then you will get this and place it on the seat leg, which I will have to change to a bigger one later. There you go. There. Okay. I've managed to make the bracelet look really weird. <laughs> May I have overdid it a bit? Actually, no. I, I feel like this is actually very nice. Except that I think my colors are not exactly 
helping each other they're kind of fighting with each other so the best way to do this is to get colors that are in contrast with the silver and the blue and the, well the medieval because that way you get the details to come out more because right now they are a bit they, the the gold is kind of drowning in there so you're not able to see how beautiful it is but actually i think it's very nice okay plus some of the bands are still twisted so we've got to untwist some of those okay so i am actually quite happy because this is another new experiment for me okay this is your Calista bracelet created by Keb 5898. This is the real Calista, the basic one, and this is the one with the borders, the skip knot borders. Okay, you can do fishtail borders, maybe it'll look simpler if you do it that way. Okay, so hopefully, you like that tutorial. And when you make the bracelet, please don't forget to hashtag Jace Alvarez, Calista bracelet, and Keb underscore 5898 because we'd love to see your additions. Bye!